Today, the state reports 41 new deaths, 575 new cases. That brings our total number of cases to more than 37,700, with more than 3,300 deaths. Ford is asking some workers to return to work in the coming week. They will put new safety measures in place for when the plants begin to reopen, although that date is not yet determined. And Governor Whitmer says tomorrow she will release more details about how she is determining which businesses and industries can begin to reopen in Michigan. The governor also announced a new executive order aimed at reducing your exposure to COVID-19 when you're at the grocery store. It's for customers and employees dealing with face masks, free samples, and store hours. Victor Williams live to break down the changes, and Victor, we're hearing from the governor. Yeah, that's right. She said this is all being done to keep the grocery store workers who are out on the front line safe. And really, with this pandemic going on, it's going to take all of us looking out for our neighbors. I encourage, you know, the, the grocers of the world to tell their, their customers, you got to wear a mask to come in. It's how we protect the employees who are showing up every day, putting their own health at risk to keep the rest of us fed. Governor Gretchen Whitmer went on record today speaking about her newest executive order designed to keep our momentum of flattening the curve going. That's how we keep COVID-19 from spiking again. But if we have a spike because people aren't doing it, we might have to take a step backwards, and that's the last thing any of us wants. The goal of these measures are to provide temporary relief for grocers and pharmacies. Customers are now strongly encouraged to wear face masks covering their nose and their mouth when entering an establishment from now on. I think that it's really important that people understand this is still a very serious situation. And if an employee tests positive for the virus, the business must notify other employees without violating health laws. And of course, social distancing is still required to prevent transmission. It is spread so quickly and for one person, it can be a fever, um, and for another, it can be fatal. Grocery stores and pharmacies must now also allocate at least two hours a week of shopping time for people who may be in vulnerable populations. And so we just continue to ask everyone to do their part. You've made a difference in making these sacrifices. We've got to keep going. Um, we will get through this, and we'll get through it together. And obviously, through all this, you're going to see a whole lot of changes at the grocery stores. You won't see any samples on top of that. The employees are asking if anyone is sick that they do not come in to work. Now, you can view this executive order in full on our website. Click on Detroit.com. In the meantime, we are reporting live. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Victor. The governor's executive order requires employers to provide face coverings for all employees starting at midnight. But because face coverings, as you know, are in very high demand, Attorney General Dana Nessel said today she's asking law enforcement to go easy on businesses that are trying to comply but simply can't get those masks.